Hello and welcome to watching a video about the most iconic special vehicle of all time. Ever since 2013, this has been known as one of the best special vehicles and if you take a look at it, you should understand quite fast why is that the case. Let's see what kind of secrets is that mixer hiding from us. To get this special vehicle you need to be on a mission Hood Safari which is marked on a map as Eflada and can be found at Franklin's aunt's house. This does not work with the mission replay. Before I begin, I would like to point out that Hood Safari is an exceptionally bad mission to get switch vehicles from compared to most other switch vehicles in the game. The reason is that you are given multiple choices to finish this mission resulting in various possible switch events after you pass, each with a different special vehicle, thus it's impossible to save your game after the mission and keep switching and reloading for the specific special switch vehicle that you want. It would simply give you the default switch event of this mission that does not contain any special vehicles at all, so that ultimately means you have to play through the whole mission each time when you attempt to get this truck, which can get really annoying. In the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3, this mixer will also spawn with a blank license plate, which cannot be found anywhere in the game after finishing the story. It was however patched and in later versions such plate does not exist. Colorwise, this mixer has a totally unique black body color which cannot be found anywhere in traffic. It does have special exclusive percents as well, but the mixer is one of the few vehicles on which it does not really matter which shine you get. For one, they are all equally special anyways. For two, they are all various shades of silvers and whites. But what makes me not want to show them to you is that Mixer will also spawn with various amount of rust on it once it's saved into garage. And this varying rust level makes shine differences kind of obsolete since you cannot control the amount of rust on your Mixer. So if I showed you the special shines, they might not look similar in your game due to rust. So I suggest to just ignore the special shine on this truck and get the first one that spawns. And no, the clean black mixer that you could possibly see cannot unfortunately be saved by any garage. And it does not end there just yet. The mixer will also have bulletproof tires, which is obviously special since the mixer cannot be mudded in the mud shop. Those tires are immune to, of course, bullets, but also fire and police stingers. Be noted though that bulletproof tires cannot be saved in the safe house garage in the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3. Later versions are safe. And finally, what's the most obvious and important special feature of this truck is of course the missing barrel. None of the other mixers in the game can spawn like that and the fact that it looks so odd and out of place should definitely make you want to have it in your save file. To get this vehicle, you can start and finish the mission any way you want, except escaping with Franklin or Trevor, and then switch to another character. Now, you can try and drive to industrial areas to be around mixers when you pass and switch to get different special shines, but as I already said, on this vehicle, doing this is kinda waste of time. When you switch, you will be given a random switch event with a vehicle of the trio, which consists of Mesa, Sadler and Mixer. If you are lucky and actually get a Mixer event, which is where the character takes cover behind this blue container, you can go and grab your Mixer, which could be tricky to find at first to be honest. If you do not get that switch, you have to reload and complete the whole mission again and hope to get the Mixer event, which is what makes this task pretty annoying. If you should want to save that vehicle into interior garage, although it is rejected normally, you can by following those tips. The method to do this will again be version dependent. If you play the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3, storing big vehicles is rather easy. All you gotta do is just park your vehicle in front of the garage door, get out and get back inside. Don't press any buttons until the engine ignites and if it does, just press enter garage button since the option to do so will still be on the screen. Unfortunately this got patched and the enter garage option no longer stays on screen if you press the enter vehicle button. Sadly big vehicles cannot be stored into those carriages in later versions all the way until garage entry animations got added. So if you have such version and you have no space to store your big vehicle in, just skip it. With the addition of garage entry animations though, Rockstar made storing trucks possible again, unintentionally of course, and that method is more complex than the old 1.0 method. 
For this trick, you of course need your big vehicle, a small vehicle which can enter the garage and a taxi. Try to place your vehicles the same way as shown here. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. Right after you exit, try and run into your big vehicle as quickly as you can. If you fail, you can try this again, but I assure you, this is not an easy trick to pull off. And if you need further information, I have a video which is dedicated to that glitch specifically. This trick works with all three characters. However, it is a bit more tricky to do with Michael. By the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle slightly annoying. That's mainly because you have to play through the whole mission over and over if you fail to get the correct switch event. But I would safely say that such a cool vehicle will definitely make your efforts pay off. And not having this one in your save would honestly be quite a stupid decision. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.